that bike is a, a different beast compared to a Moto 3. In the beginning, the biggest thing was to get used to the speed. You know, I knew it was going to be tough. It'll be fun, but it's too wet. See, that's all I want to do, so it is what it is. Uh, from Moto 3 to Moto GP is uh, it's almost impossible. Been given this opportunity, I'm going to take it with both hands and try and make the absolute most out of it. My name is Darren Binder and my goal for 2022 is to fight amongst the rookies to be the best one. <laughs> Living the dream, I always wanted to be a MotoGP rider, now I am one so. Yeah, last year I had quite a good year and I got the opportunity to, to step up into MotoGP which was my whole life, all I've dreamt of is riding a MotoGP bike. Uh, the speed from a Moto3 to a MotoGP bike was insane. From day to day you'd go to sleep. When you wake up the next morning, it feels like you're starting at zero again, you know, so it took a couple of days to get used to that. And then obviously just starting to learn everything. There's so much electronics. Step by step, I really started to figure things out and learn and understand a little bit. And also just adapt my body to the bike, you know, I trained as hard as I could from the end of last year to the beginning of this year. but. Uh, yeah, you know, it's one thing to be strong and fit and gym every day, but it's another thing to be riding fit. Today we're going in boost, all the way. Down power. Back in my bag and I got a brag, I do this shit for real. When we was down and we had nothing, we had Living up in Andorra, it's really nice. Uh, everything around you, that like training here is so good, it's so much fun. And I just try and make everything that I have to do fun. <laughs> That's all that counts. Get fit and be ready for the races. Got enough practice. First race in Qatar was definitely nervous all weekend, you know. I was, the whole time I was a bit worried about how things were going to be. So going into that, the start of the race, I thought, okay, now it's going to be the first time I'm actually in the group with the guys and I wasn't sure what to expect, you know. I think I just started passing guys the first lap. I passed like three, four, five guys in the first two laps and I was really enjoying it. And, uh, you know, at, at the end of the day, I'd forgotten about all that stuff and I was just racing the motorbike. And I'd taken quite a lot of flack, you know, from everybody in the media and that. And nobody expected me to be where I was. So I was really happy with how things went. Everything was going good and then I kind of hit a little rough patch and uh, for a couple of races I struggled but it's I'm so slow there at the moment I go like wait 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 then at the end of the day I knew that was coming you know I knew at some point I was going to struggle and I just needed to to keep chipping away Fortunately, it takes time. Like uh, some days you'll make a second faster and you'll be like, oh yes, I made that step. Let's make another one, you know, go in the same direction in whatever we're doing. And then you quickly realize that it, it's not that easy. Sometimes you got to take a step back again, stay there for a while and then make another step forward. And uh, every time when we start on Friday, it's his first day on an OGP bike on that track. We start always from zero, every week again, every week again. It's tough, I mean, I had that really good ride, my second ride in the rain, you know, and I felt amazing, I finished ninth, whatever, cool. And then I got to like Le Mans and uh, I was struggling, but I felt like, oh, okay, in the race I'll be all right. And in the race I was just so slow and I was, I was so upset with myself, I couldn't believe I'd done such a bad race. And, and anyway, forgotten about it, I'm training like as hard as I can, I'm ready for the next one. Yeah, you gotta just dust yourself off, pick yourself up and, uh, 
keep on going. I've got a lot more to, to offer, it's just I need time, obviously. It's, it's difficult and uh, you got to always be on your absolute A game all the time and make sure you, you do something good because otherwise you're going to be gone. Right now I feel like I've just got my goal set on getting up there and I'm just chasing it slowly but surely. <laughs> you know, this is what I love. I love riding motorbikes, I really love racing. It was always a dream to be in MotoGP, so it's, it's impossible to explain to you what, what the feeling is of riding that bike. It's, it's absolutely insane. This, I'm here now and I want to stay here, so I just want to go out there and do my best, 